Today I'm going to be covering the Fluke 45 dual display multimeter. This will be the multimeter you'll be using throughout the lab. First we're going to power on the multimeter and you'll notice the green button in the bottom will allow power to go to your meter. We'll wait a second for it to set. By default it'll start into the DC voltage scale. Well, if we were to select the DC voltage scale I'd be selecting V, the solid line with the dashed line below it. And what we'll show you here is it's set to auto, meaning the fact if I was to connect these terminals across a component in your circuit to measure DC voltage, it would set the scale that you're looking at. Right now we have it disconnected, so it's measuring 0.3 and dropping millivolts DC. If I was going to move to measure AC voltage, I collect the button that says V with a wiggly like that. Again, it's showing you 72.798 millivolts AC across these terminals. This is essentially noise. If I was wanting to measure the resistance of a component, you'll notice the ohm symbol. I'll push that. By default, when the components are not, the terminals are not connected to anything, you're going to see an overload. This represents an open circuit measurement. Essentially, if we look at an open circuit, we're measuring meg ohms, and that's what the auto scale has set us to. Next, we're going to cover the frequency. I want to measure the frequency across these two probes by hitting the F R E Q button. You'll notice it's measuring 29.942 kilohertz. This is essentially noise. One neat feature about this display is I can measure AC voltage. So picture me putting these two probes across a component where it's measuring that voltage, AC, I'm going to use the second button and then push frequency. It'll measure the AC voltage and the frequency that are across these probes. To turn off the second display, we push the second twice and it'll dis disappear. I've left measuring current to last because you're going to have to change the terminal here into the 100 milliamp terminal. Do not use the 10 amp. You're not going to need that throughout the lab. Only use the 100 milliamp terminal. Now if I want to measure current, it's the A for ampere, and this will be DC, the solid line, the dashed line, and you'll now notice I'm measuring 0 milliamp DC. If I wanted to measure the AC current, again I push the A with a wiggly line here, and now you'll see it'll set auto milliamp in AC. I'm not connected to anything right now, so essentially if it was connected in series I would be able to measure a current. All right, that's about it for this meter. And I'm sure at the end of the lab we make sure we power the meter off by just pressing the green button again.